and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I am doing something I don't think I've ever done before and that is asking you guys to help me pick out some products that I want to pan next year or that I will pan next year. Um, I am picking right now blush, bronzer, and highlighter. I might do some other products later but these are the three that I am going to start with. I don't want a really long video. I want to keep it pretty simple so that you guys can um, you know, let me know what you think down there in the comments and uh, you can tell me what you want to see me pan and um, we'll, we'll go from there. I, I'm i kind of thinking about some of these products already. Some of them I'm pretty sure I want to pan and others I'm just not sure about. So let's get into this one, starting with the blush. This one, we know it's going to be around at the end of the year. This is the Franken blush that I've been working on for quite some time now. I'm going to continue to work on it um, through the end of the year and hopefully I will have pan on it. But um, I'm kind of debating, do I want to work on this again next year um, or do I want to give it a rest and work on some other stuff? This actually has um, two blushes in it plus, plus a little bit of other stuff. But, um, you know, if I finish this, I will have two more blushes out of my inventory, which is kind of nice. But do I want to keep working on it? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to show you some of the other blushes that I'm considering. Um, I have this one that is from ColourPop. I have never used it. It was gifted to me. And it is so pretty. I haven't even swatched it. And I have never used Super Shock. So um, it would be a new experience for me. But I don't know how long these take. So, like, I kind of know how long other blushes take. But... Um, again, I, I've not used sh Super Shocks, so um, I don't know. If you have used a Super Shock blush, let me know how long it took you, if you've even finished one, and um, yeah, let me know. Oh, and this is um, Drop of a Hat, if you were curious as to what the color is. And it's funny because um, this was the, the Chinese Zodiac, and it's got a little rat on it, and I'm a rat, so I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I'm a rat. Go figure. Um, all right. I also have some hair right here. Um, I've got hair everywhere, though. I have this little Coastal Scents Duo. It was a little sample sent to me when I bought um, Christmas gifts for other people last year. So it's not a lot of product in here. It is two grams, and I think I could easily blow through those, which would be nice to have blushes out of my collection, like as far as the inventory numbers. Doing something small like this would really help those numbers. And I also have some that I have depotted. Um, this is one of the remaining of the Sephora Colorista palette. I do have one from Colorista in my um, Franken. And this would be the only other blush that I have from the Sephora Colorista palette. This one is kind of like a purpley shade. Let's see what this one's called. This one is, I know it's Essence or Catrice. No, it's Klaus Nova. Oh, it is by Catrice. Um, and it is Legend Berry. But I was kind of comparing. This is a huge blush. They're not exact, but they definitely are similar, this, this tiny one. So I don't know. This one's huge. I think it's going to take a long time. And do I want one that's going to take a long time or do I want to knock out some of the smaller ones? I don't know. These are, these are questions that I'm posing to you guys so that, um, you know, you can think about that when you're commenting down there what you think I should use. This one, I believe, is from Essence. It is Baby Doll. Let me see. Is it Essence or is this one Catrice also? I put the thing right over it. It's one of the, it's either Essence or Catrice. In baby doll that's an easy color to use but it's very similar to my Franken so it, it has a little more shimmer though so there's that and these are both um, Tarte Party and yeah they look different to me this one looks lighter but they're both Tarte Party go figure so I must have gotten them at different times they must have come from different batches I don't know so obviously I wouldn't do both of them I would do the one that I've already started working on but those are my blushes. So let me know. Franken, ColourPop, Super Shock, Coastal Scents, Tiny Sampler Duo, or any number of 
these in my magnetic palette. I am open to any and all suggestions. All right, now let's move on to the bronzers. I have less of these to work on, which is good because um, I have less in my collection. I have four, count them, one, two, three, four hula bronzers. Yes, they were all um, like from Sephora Play. Go figure, one of them, actually, maybe two of them were from Amanda that she sent to me. I can't remember, it's been a while. Um, so I would obviously work on the one that has pan. This one is Dusk from Smashbox, and it definitely has some shimmer to it. It had broken. It's never been used. So, um, there's that one, but it's huge. It is 7.2 grams, which that's a big one. And then there is this one from Milani. This is the Hermosa Rose Illuminating Face Powder, which is a highlighter, bronzer, and blush. And it's kind of all together. It reminds me of some of those physicians formula that had like the different colors in it. Um, I would definitely use this as like a glowy bronzer in the summer. So um, yeah, cause that's, that's not like a face powder. I can't use that as a face powder. So those are my bronzers. Should I go for the Hula or should I go for one of the bigger pans and try to knock those out? I know it's not as exciting as all of the blushes, but I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, um, like I get decision fatigue. I don't know if anyone else does and I'm trying to plan so much for next year. All right. I have just a few highlighters that I'm considering for next year. Um, this was not originally going to be in there, but, um, you know, I, I shouldn't even own this. This was, um, shop miss a, they sent me the wrong thing. I ordered empty palettes and they sent me highlighter palettes. And Wanda, yours is coming, I promise. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to work on this at all, like one or more of those. I feel like um, I kind of, even though I, I brought this out, I kind of feel like I want to work on like a single highlighter so that I can get a full product out of my, my collection, out of my drawer space. Um, I have two different ones from Bare Minerals. I have Platinum Gossamer and I have Diamond Gossamer. Um, I have Becca, what is this one? Champagne Pop, which is brand spanking new. And it is on the smaller side, so it's one I definitely think I could finish if I chose this one. And the other one that I have is from that same ColourPop collection, the 2020. And this one is in Goody Two Shoe. And that is a super shock, obviously. And let me see, what is the grams on this one? 4.2 grams. So yeah, again, I've never used the super shock formula, so I don't know if I could finish that one or not. What is this? What did I say? 4.2 for this and champagne pop is 2.4. So yeah, big, big difference on that. So let me know what you think. One of the two Bare Minerals, the Super Shock, Becca, or one of them out of this little highlight palette. Those are, those are my choices, and I want to pick, it's okay if you pick more than one because, you know me, I'm going to, I'm going to pan like crazy. I, I want to make up for this year, so I want to, um, I'm going to have a lot of projects. Some of them might just be goals, and, um, I want to really rotate through my, my collection more in 2021 because I feel like so much has been sitting with, um, you know, all the painting I've been doing. Plus this year, things just didn't get, I didn't get through a whole lot this year. So, um, I might, um, I might, you know, take multiples of these and just try to hit a goal on them. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you want to see me do any other products, for you guys to help me choose what to pan next year, let me know that down in the comments. I've got a hair going right across my eye. Um, and yeah, I think that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.